I am a sole proprietor of the Steam Theme Company, which produces an educational board game that helps kids deal with self-esteem issues, and it's ages 5 to 17. I had a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, and I had decided to go into the education program, and I was given an assignment by one of my instructors to create a hypothetical lesson plan that I would use in a classroom. And I started thinking about self-esteem because it's kind of second nature for me. I've done a lot of reading around self-esteem issues that uh, children have. Here we have game pieces. They're, are, they're made out of wood. We also have here the turtle, which is the mascot for the game. The game includes a deck of cards that are shown here. And this is the high centerpiece. It also reverses to get um, the age-appropriate game. And it's all encased in this lovely solid pine box. So are these the same thickness as the other? I had absolutely no business background. None. Just a willingness, a desire, and a drive to do something with my life that was going to be self-fulfilling and allow me to give back. I made up my initial 100 games a year ago, and at present I've sold the 100 games and I'm in production again. I'm getting a lot of interest in the game from all over the place. I, I have games from Nova Scotia to BC, Yukon Territory, and now I'm starting to sell some games in the States, so that, that makes me happy. The object of the game for the children playing the game is to collect esteem points that allows them to win. And for the facilitator of the game, the object for us is to use the game as a tool to create dialogue around the self-esteem issues that uh, children have. A lot of the questions for the game are based on issues and incidents that I've encountered when I was growing up that are still relevant. You're going to go first? Here we've got a brave guy here. Now remember, when we're playing the game, you don't have to say anything. Really it's not a game that children can just pick up and then go at it. The children playing need to be prompted. You need a facilitator there to give more information than what they have so we can build on their knowledge bank. And you also need a facilitator there so that when real personal issues come up, that they're able to lead and guide children in the right direction as to how they can get help and deal with self-esteem issues. It took me five months to fully develop the prototype game, which was $250. Then I started thinking, okay, I'm going to field test this and play the game with children to see what kind of response I'd get from them, to see if they'd like the game, and as well to see how the administration would accept the game. So I presented it in front of a committee, the uh, Department of Education level, and I had my prototype, that's what they saw, and uh, they really liked the material and how it spoke to, to children about their issues, and thus they accepted it as curriculum. Hi, my name is Cynthia and I'm from the... The federal government is looking at the game to see if it has any relevance or merit in their cadet program. Now there's 13,000 cadet corps across Canada. However, if I get an order for like 13,000 games, the suppliers that I have, they wouldn't be able to handle that kind of demand. And as well, I just don't have the space to store all of the materials for the game, so I have to, at this point, order when I'm like 50% gone and then keep them coming like that. Almost done here. We just have to wait till it dries. Okay. Because the game has been approved for curriculum, any school in Nova Scotia can go on the Nova Scotia Book Bureau website and purchase any resource materials that they need for their classrooms. And as well, I get orders from schools directly. I've tried to get it out there in the media as much as I possibly can. CBC Radio, Today's Parent Magazine featured the game, and there was also the Nova Scotia Teachers Union that featured a full page of, of the game in, in their magazine. You do have to be careful simply because, although yes, I created and developed the Esteem theme game, that's not to say that someone else can't just turn around and develop a similar product, call it by a different name, and use that. And I got some comments like, oh my goodness, that is like fantastic. I would purchase that. But if you don't have the, the right protections on that, somebody's going to steal that. And then I started losing sleep. So immediately within a week, I started applying for my right protections for the game. And as well, I have bought the domain names for theesteemthemegame.com and .ca. 
One of the most important aspects of having my own business is the support. For example, Blue Water Business Development, which is a branch off of ACOA. They have uh, given me the financial support that I needed to get my business up and running with a $15,000 small business loan and I saw the Canadian Business Service Centre. They gave me all the information that I needed to fill out the applications for my copyright, my industrial design patent, my trademark. They told me about the wait period, the fees, all of that stuff. They were fantastic. When it really feels rough and you feel overwhelmed, it's the passion that you have for what it is you want to do that carries you through. And, and then that support system that you have, the, the people that are in your life that are there for the emotional support, or for the financial support, or for the knowledge support. You're going to need all of those things, so I think that you should cement those people in your life and, and give them flowers every now and then, or a card to say thank you.